what I love about the social prescribing, it's connecting people with others. At present, over 50% of GP appointments are taken up by people whose health issues are to do with socioeconomic factors, which the GP is never going to be able to resolve. Doctors were often really frustrated with being unable to support people with social issues that were impacting on their health. When you're dealing with housing or financial struggles, those sort of things have a significant impact on your mental health and your ability to actually focus on yourself. You know, when a patient goes and see a GP, they only have about five or ten minutes. But to really explore what's important to an individual takes much more time. So we can really spend time with people to find out what it is that really matters to them, and that's the key thing. So we're listening to people, hearing what the issues are, and then trying to work with them to uh, create a plan. I worked with a gentleman. He was very isolated and very depressed, and it was about trying to get him to join a local community group for older people that had lived in the borough for a long time to share their experiences. He could talk to people going through similar things, which was really important. It's just such a huge benefit to GP practices. It's just a really good way of looking at someone holistically. Integrating social prescribing into primary care service delivery is huge. Doctors and nurses don't necessarily know about what is available within a community. I mean, they, they can't possibly know. The key thing that social prescribing link workers need to have in their toolkit is knowledge about their localities, what things are available to refer people to in their localities. So this is called community assets knowledge. They're very good at networking, extremely good at being able to find out what's available within an area and personalise that service as well. We've got a directory of services and we're, we're updating that all the time. So we have access to benefits advisors, to employment agencies, all those kinds of things that perhaps a GP wouldn't have that, that knowledge. Having a positive partnership between the council, the PCNs and ourselves is been really vital for us being able to reach the community. Without any doubt, it is really important that we join up that work that's been happening in the past. So it's really important that it's done as a whole system approach. We're all here to kind of serve a purpose and serve our community. And that's what we're able to do because of our working partnerships together. During lockdown, things did change so much because there was there were so many um, people who were shielding. The pandemic has exposed in technicolor issues within our communities that we knew existed, but now we just can't ignore. This pandemic has affected every area of life and so all of the areas that we covered like employment, benefits, mental health, carers, all of those have been highlighted even more, there are even more of a need now. For a lot of clinicians it became apparent that there was this additional set of hands, some additional resource that they could turn to to get help for these sort of complex issues. Link workers have been you know amazing and kind of rising to the challenge and supporting people in a way that clinicians have not been able to. The pandemic the pandemic has helped a lot of people to get it, to get what social prescribing can do. And I think that that's helped people to understand that silver lining within that pandemic, sort of recognising how much added value it comes. That's really helped to shift the minds within our sort of system. It's about showing people, you know, we don't just have to survive, we can live and we can flourish and, and have a good quality of life. If you've got any patients that are coming to you quite regularly and you don't know what to do with them, if they're really isolated and they seem desperate, we can help that patient. You can tell people a story about the impact it's had on someone's life. That person then can recognise that they can actually be part of that story as well.